This is Sarah. Sarah just bought the new Hyundai Elantra N-Line, packed with the latest features to make her life easier. Using Blue Link, Sarah can remote start her car, turn on the heated seats, and set the temperature. With wireless CarPlay, Sarah can keep her phone in her purse and continue texting through the display audio unit without plugging in her phone. Emma said yes, 7.30 p.m. I'm excited. Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? Great, see you there. Plus, with wireless CarPlay, she can easily use her favorite music app right inside the display unit. Sarah loves her car so much, she convinced her boyfriend Adam to buy one too. Adam also got a great one with Hyundai's new digital key. With Hyundai Digital Key, Sarah no longer has to wait while Adam searches for his keys. Now Adam can just use his phone to unlock, start, and drive his car. Hyundai Digital Key even remembers his personal settings, like his integrated memory seat, favorite radio stations, and mirror adjustments, so his Elantra's ready to go right when he hops in the car. Adam also upgraded to the new super-wide 10.25-inch screen, that way, he can easily see multiple apps on the split screen. Nothing better than music and maps at the same time. With Hyundai Digital Key, he can also share a virtual key with a friend. That way, when Ryder's car is in the shop, Adam can quickly send over access to his Elantra without disrupting his workday. He can also set time restriction for how long the key will work which would have been nice to have last time Ryder borrowed his car. Plus, using dynamic voice recognition, he can do things like turn up the temperature, change the radio station, or turn on the heated seats. Please say a command. Turn on the heated seats. Hi, I'm CJ Ekman, manager of IoT and Connected Car at Hyundai and I'm here to tell you about Hyundai Digital Key, which is debuting for the first time on the 2021 Elantra. Hyundai Digital Key is a complete replacement for your proximity key using a smartphone app. It connects to the vehicle using Bluetooth and near-field communication to give you access to the vehicle as well as ability to share keys virtually instantly to anybody. So Hyundai Digital Key allows you to lock, unlock, and start the car just like you can with your proximity key. What makes it super convenient is the ability to share keys virtually to anybody. You can select the duration, so I could give someone a key for only an hour, up to a year, but I can also select what type of access that person has. So one use case that's extremely convenient is the ability to share keys to, say, your teenager. You can send access for an hour, up to a year, but you can also select what type of access that person has. I can give access to only Bluetooth functions, which allows them to open the trunk, get in the car. If you had a teenager, they could put their baseball stuff in the trunk, grab it without having to bother you. But if they tried to drive the car, the phone and the car know, nope, this person doesn't have access to drive. But if you had a spouse, for instance, you could share a key with them and they would have the ability to drive. And because your phone is your key, the car knows who's driving the car. So for instance, for me, my wife is a lot shorter than me. So when I get into the car, I screw up all of her settings. The radio settings are all screwed up. I have to adjust the mirrors, the seat, everything. But when the key is digital, it knows CJ's driving. So when I get in the car, the seat automatically adjusts to my seat settings. The radio presets are set to my favorite radio. The phone is set to my phone. Office is sent to my office, which is super convenient for sharing a car among a family or friends. So when my wife gets in the car, it knows that she's driving and loads all of her presets. And when you're done sharing the car, you can instantly delete the key. So whoever was driving it no longer has access, uh, which makes it really convenient for letting someone borrow your car for like a short period of time. Hi, my name is Alex Mormon. I'm senior manager of the Connected Car Program at Hyundai Motor America. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the coolest new in-car tech on our all new 2021 Hyundai Elantra. Uh, as you can see here, you get um, two 10 and a quarter inch uh, screens that you really won't find in any of our competitors. This 10 and a quarter inch widescreen display. It's big, beautiful, high resolution, very responsive to the touch. Um, Apple CarPlay is capable to be used in uh, full widescreen mode. So when you're using your, your native CarPlay apps, um, you can see how responsive it is. 
um, you know, everything just, just looks really, really great on this screen. Something else that is, uh, is new to the Elantra when you go back to our, um, our native technology map is you can use uh, split screen. So because there's so much screen space, you can have your maps on one side or your audio on one side and uh, display other information. You can even pull in the streaming music from your, from your CarPlay, as I'm showing here, um, your maps, uh, fuel economy, things like that. So uh, just a great, big, beautiful screen that we have. So one of the other um, really exciting new technologies we have with the all new 2021 Elantra is our dynamic voice recognition. And so this is a, a voice function that takes advantage of being connected to the internet to be able to better answer your questions and provide you more relevant information. So for example, if you're driving to the airport about to take a business trip to say Pittsburgh, uh, you could do something like this. Please say a command. Well, I need an umbrella in Pittsburgh next week. Yes, it should start raining on Sunday, November 15th, near Pittsburgh. So in addition to asking about things like the weather, uh, you can ask about the stock market as well. Please say a command. How is the market doing today? Yesterday, the S&P 500 was up 0.7652%. The Dow Jones was down 0.0792%. And the NASDAQ Composite was up 2.013%. So it gives you quite a bit of information on the stock market. You can also ask about individual stocks. Please say a command. What is the stock price of Apple today? Apple closed at $119.49 U.S. yesterday, up 3.04% since Tuesday. Something else you can do that um, wasn't a super common thing to be able to do via voice in your, in your car before is turn on different functions of the vehicle. So if, for example, you're driving in a, in a hectic uh, urban environment, you don't wanna take your hands off the wheel to, to touch something like the driver's seat heater, for example, you can just tell the car to do it for you. Please say a command. Turn on driver's seat heater. Turning on the driver's seat warmer. Also, uh, if, you, if you like Sirius XM, a really neat thing is, you know, I, I love Sirius and, and I always forget what the numbers of my favorite stations are. You can just tell it by the name of the station uh, what to tune to and it'll jump right to it like this. Tune to BPM. Now listening to Sirius XM BPM. So you can tell it by name whatever uh, station you want to tune to very quickly and easily. Lastly, um, when you're looking for different points of interest to plug into your navigation, before you had to say things like the specific address um, or you know, very limited ways to ask for certain um, genres of food, for example, this time you can, you can be a lot more natural. So if I'm, if I'm craving tacos, uh, I can ask the car to help me out. Please say a command. Find me tacos. Twenty results found. Please say the line number. So you can see it's all Mexican food restaurants that hopefully most likely have tacos available. Something else really neat if you're on the road and you want to grab, um, you know, maybe do some quick work uh, while you're driving around is I can ask for restaurants that have free Wi-Fi available. Let's try that. Please say a command. Find me restaurants nearby with free Wi-Fi. Eight results found. Please say the line number. Two. You will be guided to the second destination on the list. So all in all, um, a very feature-rich, capable voice recognition system that will be adding capabilities to uh, over time.